Hi everyone, Chef PD here. Hey, it's the Memorial Day weekend and it's time to reflect and give thanks to all those that have sacrificed their lives for all of us. And to the families of the fallen, thanks for your sacrifice as well. It is also warm weather time when vegetables are plentiful and affordable. Zucchini, squash, eggplants, especially green beans. Now I picked up some today and so today's lesson is beef with green beans stir-fried in a garlicky black bean paste. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, ingredients we need today. I have half pound of beef flank steak. This is uh, fairly expensive. It's about 15 or $16 a pound, but we're only using half a pound. So if you could get uh, maybe a tenderloin would be okay too, but try not to go with a skirt uh, that's really lower grade of beef and it's going to be tough okay uh, i have four cups of green beans you want to cut it uh, about two two inches in uh, length and you want to blanch it for about three or four minutes i have one cup of uh, carrot sliced uh, half a cup of jumbo onion sliced i have half a teaspoon of ginger half a teaspoon of garlic uh, minced one a tablespoon of black bean paste now I made a couple of other videos that uh, has black bean paste in it and I and I showed I will uh, leave a link down below to show you how it's done on one of the videos. Uh, I have one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of MSG, and this is monosodium glutamate and it's optional. If you're sensitive, I would suggest that you don't use it. But uh, definitely, if you are not sensitive to it, uh, use it. And one eighth teaspoon of white pepper powder, one cup of soup stock, or in this case, we have water and you want to use uh, a chicken base or chicken bouillon, maybe a, te uh, a teaspoon or so. And uh, we need sesame oil, just uh, a dash, not too much. And you're gonna need egg, uh, uh, light soy sauce, rice wine, oil, and cornstarch to marinate the beef. So let's cut up the beef and we'll marinate it right now. Okay, with the flank steak, obviously you wanna go cross grain, okay? And uh, we're just gonna do it maybe a quarter inch. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need uh, white pepper powder. A little bit of soy, that's light soy. A little bit of cooking wine. About half a teaspoon or so. Egg white. well about half a tablespoon of cornstarch this is gonna coat your uh, beef and make it uh, very smooth and uh, really good to eat and then a little bit of oil And that's it. Now we just can cook with it. Okay, we got the wok heated up and uh, I got a little bit of oil in here. About half a tablespoon of oil. We're gonna do the beef first.
Okay, it's about halfway done. So it's just as long as it, you know, uh, change color on both sides. Okay, we're still gonna cook it some more. And put that aside. And add a little bit more oil. Now we're gonna put the onions in. Ginger and garlic. Now you put the carrots in. And the chicken base, if you have water that is. And we're just going to cover it for a couple minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes or so. Okay, now we're going to add our seasoning. We've got the salt, sugar, MSG, white pepper powder. black bean paste oyster flavor sauce and lastly the sesame oil Cover it up in, oops, one more thing, we're going to add the, the beef, I uh, almost forgot the beef. Alrighty, let's take a look. Another thing you can do is put a little bit of dark soy sauce. It's a it's a dark soy. It's just for color, okay? And again, this is just optional. Now I got about half a teaspoon or three quarter of a or tablespoon. Three quarter of a tablespoon of cornstarch and water. You're gonna drizzle it over. Add a little bit at a time. You don't want it too thick.
Okay, let's check this out. Got some beef, some carrots, I got some green beans. Ooh. Wow. It's really good. Real garlicky. And the, and the green bean is um, it's still kind of crisp, uh, crunchy. So. Mm -hmm. Beef is very tender. Mm. Okay, I hope you get a chance to try this out and please share and thumbs up for my video. Bye. Great, so a bunch of viewers are interested in buying these black t-shirts, Dragon House t-shirts. So if you're interested, uh, please email me at this address down here right there and uh, let me know what size and quantity you want and then I uh, will try to get some and uh, get them out to you.